Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jordan. I'm a yoga instructor and soon to be licensed massage therapist in the Midlothian, Richmond area. And yeah, hi. <laughs> if you're wondering why I look so exhausted, it's because I am. Anyways, today I'm here to talk about the five pros and cons of being a yoga instructor because I feel like I wish there was a video out there like this when I had first gone to my teacher training. Um, for some, they don't go to teacher training to become teachers, but for those of you that do, I hope this is helpful and insightful. <laughs> um, me being me, we're gonna start off with the cons first, get all the yucky, icky stuff, and bad vibe stuff out of the way. And then we're gonna talk about all the pros, cause the pros 110% outweigh the cons. Just prefacing that now. <laughs> I hate this one. Okay, so the first con to becoming a yoga instructor is finding the job. Huh. <sighs> I don't want to say that, and I, I want to be honest, but I also don't want to deter anyone and make it seem impossible, because it so isn't. Within a year of me looking for jobs, I'm up to teaching 10 classes now, so just stay strong, keep applying, keep sending out your resume, keep t taking any opportunity you can to teach, even if it is donation-based or for free. Just get out there and start teaching get your name out and eventually um, the opportunities will follow for the most part you will start off as a sub anywhere if they do bring you on um, for the most part not all the time but you'll start off as a sub and then next thing you know I mean we're most yoga instructors are contractors meaning that we're independent in our own business we sort of just work in locations rather than for them and they, Basically, yoga, they tend to hop around a lot and life just happens. So you could be subbing somewhere for what could be one week to like five months. And at any time during that time period, you could get the opportunity to teach a class and it be your class weekly. And then you'll, you'll slowly just start working up from there. So that's the perk of that. It can be hard, but you will find a job, I promise. But that is a con is that it can be kind of hard. Okay, the second, <laughs> the second con is something i don't want to get misconstrued um this is totally general by no means am i attacking anybody or any one this just tends to be a pattern that can happen um amongst teaching it's like the the i guess the occupation of being a teacher is people sort of entitlement to you i think sometimes people like they they respect your teachings and they gain so much from them that they sort of start to feel this like of that you owe them like or that you're supposed to be doing more for them than like you truly can because you're teaching you know eight to ten other people in the class you know which it's it's hard to say like some people they sort of make it about themselves where of course always want that open door with your students you always want them to come to you and to talk about poses maybe that you they would like to see in class like that's always there but i think people sometimes overstep that the doorway a little bit they don't necessarily knock and it can be sort of rude just that entitlement to your services and sometimes people can really think that it's about them <laughs> it can be um a lot <laughs> we'll say kind of following up with that the third con of being a yoga instructor is starting at a new location more so amongst studios there tends to be this forgiving um energy there where people who are in yoga excuse me studios tend to be more understanding are you joking right now <laughs> love living in an apartment when they're committed to their practice they're used to seeing that instructor and they become accustomed to their flow every single day and it becomes their routine like as humans which i'm totally empathizing with right now i'm not being judgmental we tend to be very habitual creatures so when a yoga instructor leaves and you end up taking over their class that transition period for the students can be and for the teacher kind of rocky um a lot of it can be you're not really sure how the class is structured, you don't really know how far along they are in their practice, like it, a lot of variables go into it and it can be really stressful and again people kind of have a sense of entitlement and they can sort of have tendencies to lack of a better term, uh, be spiteful. <laughs> 
some more than others but whenever I start somewhere for the first time I always open the door for conversation where I say you know this is our class like I'm here to serve you guys so if there's ever anything I can do to make the class better or more suitable for everyone's practice like please let me know and I just kind of I, I lay that out for the land and for the students. Hi, sorry, I ran out of storage. But yes, just let them know. Because that was our third con. Sorry, that took forever to fix. <laughs> Eventually, people do get used to you, and it's a lot of fun. So don't worry about starting a new location. Just get through the bumps and all that good stuff. Our fourth con is, this is the sad one, is definitely, once you start picking up more classes, it definitely can start distracting you from your personal practice. Um, I have to work in, of course being a massage therapy school has taken a big toll on this too, but I've had to work to make time to practice and to go to classes just to be a student and just flow, um, taking time for myself. It can, like, you think that you, you, you practice and the next thing you know you've been like going, going, going and it's been three weeks, almost a month since you went to a class. To be the best teacher you can be, it's really important to continue to stay a student. Just that advice from teacher to teacher you know okay in our last con it kind of leads into the pros is the changing the flow last minute which is a blessing and a curse so it's a curse because it's like you walk into your class and you have this whole thing planned and you're so excited because it was a flow you practiced and you know it and it's you just know everyone's gonna feel great then you walk in <laughs> and then someone has a herniated disc and your flow included a lot of forward folds and now you have to completely change everything and that could be really scary, especially when you're new to teaching and you haven't really found your cues yet and you're not used to thinking on that quick wit, like quick of a flip switch moment. And it could be really, really scary. But I've used this one last because it's definitely one of the pros too, is once you get used to that, it's really, really fun. With that being said, let's get to the pros. All right, guys. Before we get to the pros, the sun's starting to move. Let's just like pretend like that's not happening. It feels very nice on my skin, so we're just gonna let it do its thing over there. Well, the first out of five pros that we have for being a teacher is the creativity that comes with it. I mean, you, for the most part, in most locations, you generally have control over the entire flow. Again, most of the time you will be a contractor, so you'll really get to decide like using any sort of prop, like for my chair yoga students, I bring tennis balls for them to roll their feet on, like things that you can take from like your own personal practice and what you learn from other teachers. It's just so much creativity and it's so much fun plotting and planning flows. It's so cool. I love the creativity. I forgot, actually, I forgot to address the, um, the changing of flow last minute and that's really, really fun. So. For example, that person who has a herniated disc comes into your class and you have this whole whole flow planned with lots of forward folds. Immediately, you have to start brainstorming like, okay, what, what can I replace with a different pose that they'll be able to do? What modifications of this pose can I give this person in flow today? Like there's just so many, it's like quick of the wit, like it really is a cater to the yogi's needs like ca they cater to your students needs um another one is like you have this flow planned and you're going through it and then you look up and you see people are kind of struggling through your flow or it's just not intense enough again flip of a switch how can i make these poses easier how can i make these poses harder and it's all happening right in the middle of class and it's just so i, I think it's so fun at first it is really scary but then once you get used to teaching and used to that happening oh my god like bring it on <laughs> our, our third pro which is pretty obvious is just the fact that we get to help people our jobs make people feel better and that's just kind of a beautiful aspect and a lot of the reasons why a lot of us are doing this is just that that reward of seeing other people feel better and knowing that you're touching your community in such a positive way is so amazing like i wake up and to just like there's days yeah i wake up and i don't want to go to work i just don't feel like it but as soon as i step foot in that classroom or you know very least but by the time i get in the car and i'm on my way i'm just so excited to go to work every day i'm just amped it is so rewarding especially when people come up to you after class and share those types of things with you it's just magical love it our fourth pro of this profession is just the constant growth if I'm a huge nerd I love googling I love researching I love learning and 
no matter what it is, I love constantly taking in information and this field requires you to do that. Expanding your own practice, constantly looking up new um, new poses and different types of poses for different types of people. That kind of research, like you're constantly researching, constantly learning, constantly taking in new information. A lot of it being from your own students. And it's just so, ah, it's, it, 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 like, it gives back to you. Just like all the knowledge and all the, the learning and all the feelings, just, it, it's, definitely a two-way street when it comes to teaching yoga which actually sort of leads us into our fifth pro which is that your pay equals your work where i feel like in a lot of jobs like you're, you put in all this work you put in all this effort and you're just not making the pay that your work entitles you to do maybe when it comes to like the work aspect but like the emotional and you know spiritual draining um the extra overworked hours a lot of people in a lot of workplaces don't compensate for that while with yoga, I feel like 95% of the time, you really are getting out what you're putting in, which is really, really cool. Whether it be the educational purposes, whether it be the time, I mean, I make 25 or $18 to $25 an hour teaching yoga. I really feel like the time I put in and my paycheck at the end of the month, it really does balance out. As I said earlier in the video, the pros outweigh the cons so much when it comes to being a teacher, especially if it really is what you want to do. For some, you think you might want to do and it might not be your niche, and that's okay. But I mean, I don't know, I feel like the majority of us who want to get into this, like, really want to do it, and it's so much fun. I absolutely love it. I totally encourage anybody, anyone out there, no matter how old you are, no matter what your race is, no matter what your gender is, anything, no matter, if you are human, then do it <laughs> it's so rewarding i love what i do as someone who's 23 and just starting her life and starting her career there's nothing else i can picture myself doing or enjoying as much as i do this besides massage therapy which i'll also be doing so it all kind of goes hand in hand and yeah those are the five pros and cons thank you so much for watching my videos guys i really appreciate you coming back um i have a new instagram fresh clean start as saturn comes direct and the new moon comes into play and my opportunities start arising in my experience. So follow me here. And of course, like this video, subscribe, share with a friend who you think might be starting teacher training or who is already a teacher, they might relate and it might be funny. I don't know. <laughs> Have a fabulous weekend. Um, much love and light and I'll see you again soon.